So here we are for the first time in months now. North Texas businesses are facing tighter restrictions all because of the pandemic. Good evening. I'm Doug Dunbar. So tonight, this all centers around how many coronavirus patients are in our region's hospitals, as our Andrea Lucia explains. For seven straight days now, COVID patients have occupied more than 15 percent of available hospital beds in the north central Texas region known as Trauma Service Area E. That benchmark now triggers tighter restrictions on businesses throughout 19 counties. Hospitals are expected to receive a letter ordering them to postpone all surgeries and procedures that are not medically necessary. Bars that have not been reclassified as restaurants will close, and occupancy limits will return to 50 percent at retail stores, office buildings, gyms, and restaurants. Restaurants have been devastated by this crisis. There's really no other way to put it. Texas Restaurant Association Vice President Kelsey Stroyford worries the rollbacks will damage consumer confidence at a time when businesses need it most. And the winter is just such a pivotal point. You know, I think for too long we've sort of treated restaurants like both the silver bullet and the scapegoat of COVID. You know, if only we can kind of control restaurant occupancy, we'll get COVID under control. TSAE is the seventh in the state forced to adopt these stricter rules. With 8 million residents, it is by far the biggest to be classified as having high hospitalizations. Do you think that this will make a difference? Uh, no, not by itself, and uh, no one does. County Judge Clay Jenkins says to make a difference, everyone will need to exercise personal responsibility. If we all get a little bit better, Andrea, then we can flatten this curve. If we don't, we're just going to have surge on top of surge as we deal with holidays after holiday. To have these restrictions lifted, our area will now have to see COVID hospitalizations drop below 15% for seven days in a row. None of the other areas that have reached this point before us have been able to achieve that yet. In fact, four out of the six went on to see numbers over 30% and are all still hovering close to that now. Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Andrea, thank you. And as we talk about other areas, state leaders are hoping to avoid what's happening tonight in Lubbock on a larger scale. The city of Lubbock tonight has, uh, says hospitals in that city are now over capacity. 16 patients, in fact, who have COVID and need hospital care are on a waiting list for a hospital bed. That's even with the extra capacity already there that includes these tents that were set up right outside of Lubbock hospitals. Meantime, doctors in Dallas County are increasingly, uh, increasingly concerned regarding the number of rising COVID outbreaks in long-term care facilities, places like nursing homes and assisted living centers. The county health department says that they currently know about 95 individual outbreaks exist in those facilities. That is the most since the pandemic began. The number is especially concerning since older, immune-compromised Americans are, of course, most at risk from life-threatening complications as a result of the virus.